There are many things I enjoy in this world. Banana bread being one of them. But the thing that I enjoy the most is being right. Eight days ago, I watched a video about Big Fry reviewing the game. There was a lot of dislikes, but more likes than dislikes. And basically, he's, basically most of the comments in the video are referring to how Big Fry just stood up and just immediately started shooting the AI. And his um, argument was the AI just knows where they are. And everybody in the comments was like, well, you stood up and shot. So me being that guy, I went into the comments to try and prove or to try and show per se, prove, show, either way, how Big Fry came to the conclusion that the AI actually knew where they were and was already ready for a gunfight. You have this guy right here. This is an AI, okay? It's not a person. This is an AI. This AI is looking at either Big Fry or he's looking at this person over here. Let me slow the clip down. 0.25. Get into the vicinity. Looking at this person right here who is standing and already aiming their gun at the AI right here, okay? So he could be, it looks like he's looking at her. Not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like. This person is definitely looking at him just by the way he's walking and the figure looks like he's aiming at him. This figure kind of looks like he's off to the side a bit, possibly aiming at this person. And there's more that come after that too. Stands up. And they're now immediately looking at him, looking at him. And he shot. I couldn't see the full thing. Hold up. Because I think the third person is also looking at him. Third person, I believe, might be looking at him. I'm not 100 100 percent sure on that one but these two this one looks seems to be looking at to his right more but this guy is definitely staring right at him um, and then changes it looks like he might have changed now he's shooting okay so the first thing i want to say is that the gunplay in this game looks like garbage the way that the ai acts is, is also kind of garbage they apparently didn't know they were there even though this person was standing up and already aiming they were all they look this person looked at that person at one point who was standing in the open and then this person also looked at big fry who was also standing in the open why the ai chose to not engage with pe two people that are standing basically well he was standing behind cover but like the way the cover is it you could clearly see his head over the cover and then he stood up and aimed so how these bots didn't already engage with these two players right here I don't know. I don't understand that at all. It's so weird. Not only that, but you have this hit marker system and the hit, I don't know why I'm pointing the screen, this hit marker system right here. Okay. But the red dot is way up here. Okay. Now the red dot, his first shot, if you go back and watch his first shot, them. God damn it. His first shot, the bullet, the gun recoils way the fuck up. Okay, just boom, there it goes. First there shot. Somehow hit, I think, the third shot. Okay. Aware hit that shot. Your position. Yeah, so that this, this weird, look at the screen. Look at the screen. The screen is a mess. I can't see anything. And that explains why they have these icons, because now you gotta shoot through all these visual effects just to figure out where your target is so you not only have massive gun recoil which is just crazy not only do you have an off-putting hit marker you also have a blood splatter that covers your screen on top of your screen being red because you're getting shot at this whole thing right here screams i don't want to play this game this game is just not for me. <laughs> There's too much shit happening in on the screen and I can't see. Big Fry released another video and in that video, I noticed another AI problem. Let's watch the clip, okay? I'm gonna try to get- By the way, let's back up a little bit. If you wanna know what AI looks like when they're patrolling, this is it right here. This guy is doing something. He's aiming at something off in the distance. 
Then you watch somewhere back here. There's one. I think that might be a mechanic. Nope, that's a person. The person is going somewhere. Look, he has his gun on the side. Not already pointing at something. It's on the side. And then his buddy's following right after. Don't know if he has a pistol or not. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. He's just running. So those two are 100% patrolling. Boom. This person aimed at something over that way. Don't know what it is, but he it triggered him to aim. Kept walking, and he was lowering his gun as he was walking by. Okay. There he goes. He's, I looks like... Oh, no. He started sprinting. I lied. There he goes. He's gone. That guy is clearly patrolling. And the longer he'll keep everyone... Then this, all these guys come out of nowhere. He's now standing right in the middle, right in the open. But these guys are just walking by. We'll just pretend that these guys didn't see them. But if the AI was looking around, would have saw this guy standing right in the open. But they all passed. They're all gone. Okay. So right in the core gameplay itself, the game says, hey... There's an indicator of AI. There is a person in this wall right here. Let me put it on 0.25 speed. He is standing in the wall. His programming, the AI, okay, the game development, the game development programming, not the, not, it's, you know what I mean, is somehow caught up with this wall right here, and it doesn't know how to path around it. Not only that. You have two dudes up here that are aiming in the distance. However, I know for a fact that they're trying to aim at this guy to engage in combat. How do I know this? They start teabagging. And if you played old games, you would know that when the AI is broken, basically, it would start to do this weird movement. Most of the time, they would teabag. They would crouch down, wait, stand back up teabag real quick that's what they would actually do when the ai was messed up back in the day okay so that's how i know this ai is broken still running into the wall teabagging because they don't know what their coding is and then pops right out of the wall runs back into it you're not a game dev so you don't know how the game operates i don't give a shit how the game operates I can clearly see the AI is broken. Example number three. Look at this dude running up this way. Shoot. Running up. What the hell? It's not like they have signed some kind of like, oh, I sent something over here. It's an enemy and it has two eyeballs. It should see this guy crouching in the corner right beside him. What? Walks right past. Bye-bye. <laughs> How did I get so... Now, I'm going to point twenty-five it. This guy right here. This guy, that's not even a dude, okay. This guy is a dude, I know that for a fact. This is a person, and the person is looking off to the right. I keep looking at the, I keep pointing at the screen, I don't care. Looking off to the right. Watch him snap immediately to this guy. Boom. Immediately snapped this way. Is now targeting him. Out in the open, makes sense. Not doing any stealth stuff. He's not looking in whatever direction he was looking at before. This guy is now solely looking at him walking in the open and is not engaging in combat with him. It gets better. It gets better. Watch this. Watch this. Arius. Boom. Hey, there's an enemy right here. Enemy right here looking right at him. But wait, it gets better. Okay, he was looking away, immediately turned around, went this way. I don't think I'm gonna get lucky this time. Boom. Ran right into him. Ran smack right into him. Did not move. Didn't engage. Nothing. Completely ignored him. Ran the other way. So every example that I've shown was the game before the official early access release. All three clips. Forever Winter released yesterday with an all-time peak of 12,000. The 24-hour peak is now 9,000. Now that they've released it in early access, they're getting even more backlash than what they would have got if they had just said, no, it's not in a ready-to-play state. The game looks amazing. I don't really care about the graphics and how they look. I play Vampire Survivors. That thing is literally pixels. Graphics, to me, I don't care. Why everybody is so set on graphics in the first place, 
will forever be a mystery to me because Unreal Engine 5 has shown that you can make these kind of graphics without any effort at all put into it. Another example of just beautiful graphics, but Unreal Engine can make these graphics look awesome just by themselves. And this is just a small area of the game. A super small area of the game. Where's he going? Oh, nice. I blew his head off. Oh, cool. Gameplay above everything. Now, I don't believe anyone should have to pay more than 50 USD for a game. Okay, so you're releasing your game in early access. Um, if you released your game at a AAA price, I would expect a AAA product. So if you were going to charge 70 bucks for this game, I would expect this game to run beautifully. It does not, which is why you released it at 30 bucks instead. So that was just some smoke going right up your fucking ass right there. It was bullshit from the start. You will never be charged for a new character. New because character. that's the way it should be when you buy a game. You will not be charged for maps, maps, guns, guns additional quests, quests, new bosses, bosses. It didn't say no battle pass. You will charge for skin packs and any sales there will go to supporting the character team. Mm -hmm. So they're going to charge you skin packs, but that's just the start of it. I promise you at some point, they'll most likely add a battle pass. Skin packs, weapon camos, all the typical AAA shit. But we're not going to charge you a AAA price because, you know, early access. So that was, to me, the red flag right there. I was like, nah, we're going to just ignore that. At Zenith, the devs can do whatever they want. Other than issues joining friends, the game is awesome and I love how it looks. The game is in a good state, but they definitely need testers. So I bought to support it and be a guinea pig. Look at Helldivers. I was barely able to play that on day one. The game is in a good state, but they definitely need testers. If the game is in a good state, why does it need testers, my friend? Explain to me how the game needs testers if it's in a good state. It's not in a good state. He wants this game to be good because it visually looks appealing. That's the worst mindset to have in any situation. It's going to give you bullshit feedback like this. And that's why releasing your game is, is too early is also bad. Because you'll get people that will kiss your ass the entire time. We hyped this game up. We wanted an early access release to experience the versions, the versions of Fun Dog Studios Opus. If anyone is getting the game today, the 24th of September, they know it's undercooked. They know it needs more time in the oven. If you're getting this game on the release of early access, you are investing. You're not investing in anything. There is no we, it was you. It was you that hyped up the game. It was you that wanted it early access. You're not investing in anything because when you invest in something, you're expecting your fucking money back. The only way you're getting your money back is if you refund the game. I don't know what this investing crap is that's been going around in the gaming community, but anybody using this word is a retard. Okay, so first impressions were okay. AI was a bit janky. Controls and animations are a bit janky. Performance is sort of not good. None of that actually matters too much right now. It's an early access title. These things will be worked on with our feedback, and I'm sure a lot of a lot is placeholder so that we can actually play the game. That being said, I want to bring attention to the water mechanic. So everything, every core element that's important to the gameplay doesn't matter because all you care about is a water mechanic because it's early access. Important. Players have been lied to and manipulated into what an early access title is actually supposed to mean. Many game devs over the years have released early access games that are essentially release ready titles just for a quick money grab. This is an actual early access title. Expected bugs, glitches, stuttering, network issues, etc. That being said, this game is worth the money in my opinion. I have very high hopes for this game's future. Gameplay wise, this game is phenomenal. The stealth mechanics... I don't think I'm gonna get lucky this time. Run in and loot what you can before you get seen. Book it to extract and profit. It's great. 
This is not a COD style run and gun kind of game. You are the puny weakling. You're essentially the level one NPC trying not to get killed by the main player. Treat the game that way. If that's not your thing, that's fine. But don't go into this game expecting to shoot your way through every conflict. It's just not going to happen. Everyone that is negatively reviewing this game and their com only complaints are bugs, glitches, or optimization. Those people must have grabbed this game with zero research because that was heavily warned about th before the release. I've known for over a month now that this game would be a very early alpha build, riddled with bugs and problems. It was expected, and it's honestly not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. And the people with potato PCs that are complaining, you guys really need to learn to read the recommended specs before buying a game, because the recommended specs are very high. It's not like they pulled a bait and switch on you with this. This is an actual early access title, but you just label it as very early alpha build. So is it an alpha or is it an early access? What is it? This is not early access. I would argue this isn't even a fucking alpha. This game is not ready to be tested because the game doesn't even function right. Having to play a stealth game where stealth isn't even a factor because everything in the game is broken or walled off by invisible fucking walls for no reason is bad gameplay. Early access should be something else, not this. You get the game a week early, two weeks early. This game you got three years early. This game is going to take a while to actually be in a playable state. It should not have been released right now. It sh they should have said, no, it's not in a playable state. We're continuing to work on it. They should have ignored the 12,000, 8,000, however many fucking people it was that wanted the game to be released early. Because if they ignored those people and then released the game at a ready playable state, the game would have done much better. I promise you the game would have done much better. But once you release a game, even in an early access state, the chances of many people coming back is not that high. They shot themselves in the foot by doing this. And in three years, two, three years, I'll come back and look at it and see what happens. So uh, it's just good to be right. That's all I can say. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.